now. 10 lessons, but I always start every numbered list with zero. So we're zero indexing our array, so you actually get um, 11, so a, a bonus lesson at the end. All right. So I spent 20 years studying math and computer science. Um, I loved writing programs. I loved building systems. I really, really loved debugging. And now fast forward to today, little did I know that almost everything I do day in and day out is sales. Now, how many of you do a lot of recruiting? OK, a lot of hands are going up. So in my mind, recruiting is sales. You are selling your organization. You're selling the company. You're selling the future. I also spend a lot of time internally talking with other organizations about what on earth infrastructure is and what we do. Our engineering org is 450 people now. That's a pretty good size. There's a lot of people who don't know. So I spend a lot of time sideways. I also spend a lot of time selling up, selling to our executives, telling them about why the work that we do matters. So how do you do sales? Well, first, you find that way to form a personal connection with someone, and then you start telling the narrative, telling the story, telling why the things you do and your team does matter. Next one. So several years ago, um, I had the huge privilege, I think it was actually in this building, of watching my graduate school advisor, Diane Pazewski, receive a Women in Technology like Lifetime Achievement Award. It's a really, really big deal. So I'm so fortunate to be in the audience. I'm watching her get the award. And um, before she comes on the stage, they had a lot of people that she had worked with in her previous career at IBM. Now, she had gone from an individual contributor to IBM Fellow. It's a huge, huge achievement. So she the, a woman that she had worked with earlier on in her career, this woman comes on the stage to talk about um, some of the amazing things that Diane had done. And what she said always stuck with me. It was, when I would see Diane walking around the hallways, she was already famous, already this prolific um, engineer in the company. She always remembered my name. And she always asked me about my husband. She asked me about my family. The higher up you go, there's this tendency to treat people like resources, like rows in a spreadsheet. But it is so fundamental to remember these are people. Remember their names. People forget. People remember when you forget their name. And they remember when you ask them three times in one day, oh, what are you doing this weekend? Because you're not listening and you're not, you don't actually care. It's so important to build that bond and to care about the people that you work with.